Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute and festive peekaboo snowflake nails. I call them peekaboo because they have a different design on the bottom than they do on the top. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make them. So I have all my nails stuck down here and now you need to buff them just to buff off the shine. Yes, you can stamp normal nails, regular nails, paint your nails and then stamp them. You can stamp over, you know, like dip nails, acrylic nails. I just wear, you know, fake ones. <laughs> so I'm just taking my buffing block here and you don't want to like just, just sand it down. All you're trying to do is just gently, gently remove that surface shine. Okay, why do you do that? Because if you don't, your polish isn't gonna stick to it. Okay, so I just do that on every single one. Now, depending on the brand, and actually I've had this to happen with every single brand I've ever tried. Sometimes on the points, the tips, there'll be like just a little piece of plastic sticking out. And then you also just wanna kind of take that off. There, that feels good. But anyway, I'm going to buff all of the nails just like this. So the nails, whoo, the nails are all filed. Now, this type of design does best with long nails, see, so that you can actually see, you know, the design under the nail, see, as opposed to the different design on top. Now, when you stamp a nail, it's not really going to work well if you stamp a bare nail or if you just stamp a bare press on. You need to have some sort of polish laid down first. And for that, I'm going to use a sticky base coat. This, to me, works really, really well. I've done this quite a few times, you know, trying to make sure that I get everything correct. And this has what worked the best for me, just this sticky base coat from Maniology. And I'm going to have a link down below to the Maniology website. I love their products. Y'all know I sing their praises all the time. But this base coat is wonderful for this. And you're just going to put it on. And y'all know as I paint these, hold on, I'll show you on this one. I start in the middle and then go out and work my way down the edges. Why? Because if you start on the edge and drag it, a lot of times you get polish build up under the edge. And it doesn't look very nice. <laughs> and it doesn't feel very nice either when you're trying to glue them on. So I'm going to paint all of these with this sticky base coat and we're going to let that dry. All right, so now I believe this has dried. I've got some paper towels here and this is just packing tape. Y'all know I don't like using a lint roller to clean off my stamper. I just like using packing tape. So I just pull off a piece and then I just roll it into a loop like so. And then I just stick it down to the table right there. Let's zoom out just a tiny bit. All right, so this is the plate that I'm going to be using. And where did my acetone go? Hold on. I thought I had it sitting right here beside of me, but I didn't. So just open up my acetone. I have my cotton swab on my little maniology grabber tool here. I have my plate, my scraper card, my stamper. I think that's it. Okay. So now you want to think about what color you want your actual design because when you're stamping this way, your design has to go on first, then your background color, okay? So I'm going to be using the Maniology. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? The color is Black Magic. So this stamping art polish, it says stamping polish. So you know it's going to be nice and opaque and you're going to get a nice design with it. So let's get the thumb here. And I am using, ooh, I'm going to be using, is that the one I used? Yeah, this design right here. And I know it looks kind of cloudy, but I did clean that plate. So let's get the nail here. Now, when you stamp, you want to put your polish on about a third of the way down. Hold your card, not upright like this, but kind of like at this angle. Scrape. And then take your stamper and just kind of pounce it. Don't press it down on there or else you're not going to get a good result. Just kind of pounce it and then pick up your design, all right? So let us do this. You need to work kind of quickly so that it doesn't dry on the uh, stamping plate. Okay, and then boink. And there is your design. I know this is kind of difficult to see on camera. I'm sorry, but you're probably thinking, well, you got some, uh, you got some polish there on the edge, just take a piece of tape and just clean up whatever you don't want to be seen. So let's go right there. Just kind of, yeah, that looks good. Uh, there and there. Yeah. 
right there, right there, right there. <laughs> I mean, this isn't going to go on the nail anyway, um, because it's way outside the width of the nail. I just wanted to show y'all how I do that. So then you take your nail, wherever you want your design, and then stamp it on. So with this big, nice, clear stamper, it's really easy. And just press it straight down on the nail. If you need to, just kind of rock back and forth. And there is your design. Now, like I said, I know it's difficult to see um, because the nail is clear. Now we're putting on this, this fine design here. But that's it. And I just take my stamper and pounce it on the tape there. And it takes off all the excess polish using the acetone. And I'll just clear off my scraper card like so. You have to clean everything off every single time you stamp, okay? This is a big old cotton ball. <laughs> so just clean that off, okay? Let it dry, and then you can turn blah, blah, can continue stamping on all of the nails. So I'm going to do that. Ooh, just about dropped it. Let's see. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to stamp on all the rest of the nails, and then we will come back and put on the background color. Okay, they're crooked once again. All right, now because these nails are really long, right? So the design does not really go all the way down to the base, but you don't need it to because that's the part that's going to be glued onto your fingers, right? So don't worry about that. Now you want to go in with your background color. You see here the background color is white. So I'm going to be using this white um, Insta-Dry polish from Sally Hansen. I'm waiting on some polish from Maniology to get here, and I think I ordered some white. I think. I'm not sure. Anyway. So now you're just going to lightly go over your design. Make sure it's dry, of course. Just lightly go over your design. Make sure you're not, like, gouging your design and then dragging your design across the nail. Just kind of, like, lightly float the polish over it. And then that is your background color. Now, I'm going to do two coats of this white, I think. You could do one or two, depending on your brand of polish, of course. You'll just make sure that your design is covered. That's the only thing that matters. Just make sure that your design is covered so that the next layer of polish that we put down is not going to be seen from the underside. See what I'm saying? So hold on. Let me get up to the bigger nail here so that you can see it better. I'll get the polish on there, and then I'll flip it over so that you can see its little backside. Okay, we got that one. Let me go ahead and do the thumb so you can see what I'm talking about. Okie dokie. Wee. I'm about out of this white, too. I'm kind of like scraping the bottom of the bottle. Okay. All right. Let's let that... My phone was acting up. Had to... Okay, see? Can you see the design on the underside there? Okay, so now I'm going to let this dry. We'll put on the second coat. And then whatever I'm doing here, of course, I'll do the other set of nails over there. And then we will move on. Okay, so now the white polish has dried. And let's look again at this underside there. So now, you see the design on my nails. Now you want to paint on here with the background color for the top of the nail, okay? And I'm going to be painting, once again, with this Black Magic from Maniology. It's just so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love their polishes so much. Now, this is a stamping polish, so it's thicker than normal polish and generally only takes one coat. So, let's see here. And once again, just going from the center out, like so. And then we're just going to paint all of the nails like this. Isn't that beautiful color? I love it so much. This is one of my favorite colors from uh, Maniology. They have so many pretty ones, but this is one of my favorites. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to paint all of them just like this. Okay. So I believe this polish has dried now. Now we're just going to stamp on our design and whatever design you want. You can see here, I just use a bunch of the different snowflakes. This one here and this one is this big one here. Uh, let's see. I don't know which one this one is, but I just found an individual snowflake and used it. But then you just stamp on whatever snowflakes you want. So let's go with the pinky where I used this one here. Of course, we won't stamp each and every nail 
in the video because that takes up a lot of time. But anyway, I'm going to be stamping with this Sally Hansen Insta Dry the White. Scrape, pounce, and there's your design. Okay, now let's just get the pinky here. Try to make sure that we're going to cover the whole entire nail because, like I said, these nails are long. Just kind of press it down and rock it back and forth just a little bit. Now, when you get these little edges here, just kind of smooth that down with my finger like so. And then you just stamp the rest of the nails with whatever design you like. And that is how you get a double design on the nails. So I'm going to stamp a few more, then we'll take a look. All right. So now these nails are done, all except for the top coat. Now for the top coat, you wanna be very careful with what you use because it can dissolve your delicate little design here and then drag it all over the nail and it's gonna smudge and not look nice. So I highly recommend using a smudge-free top coat. Once again, this one is from Maniology. I will have a link down in the description box and also I'll pin a comment of where you can get all the Maniology stuff. I've got a string or something on my finger. I gotta wipe that off here in a second. Or it could just be some of the top coat that got sticky sticky. There we go. No, get off of me. <laughs> it's clingy like my ex. So the top coat protects it as well as just pulls the whole thing together, you know? A lot of times when you're stamping or doing your nail art, you're like, mm, this is looking kind of raggedy. But once you get that top coat on there, I don't know, it just does something for it, you know? So just get your top coat on there. For me, I like putting on two or three layers of top coat. Now, if you don't wanna use up all of your smudge-free top coat, once you put that on your nails, let that dry, then you can go over it with whatever top coat you like. I have like this uh, fast gel top coat that's from Maybelline. I have a bunch of different ones, but you know, you could just put whatever you want on there and then you're good to go. It's done. So anyway, I hope that you liked this video. Let's flip them over so you can see the underside. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.